Rose. We're back at the 14th, and here is Madeline Sackstrom. Is there, just... there a better view in, on the LPGA than this one, Morgan? It is so spectacular. Uh, you cross the walk path, the public walk path to get across to this 14th hole. And it's almost unbelievable, the view right there. You can get lost in it so easily. Rosang, celebrated amateur, won the Augusta National Women's Amateur and a couple of NCAAs. Jennifer Kupcho won both of those events. This is Jennifer for birdie at 10. expect to see a lot of birdies here on the 10th hole today. It's a good scoreable par five. I've been here several times. The President's Cup was here, but the women getting their chance. Here is Danielle Kang, her third at the 10th. And serious amounts of undulation for her to negotiate with this one. Karen Stupples, as you heard, is with Danielle, Patty Tabatanikit, and Jin Young Ko. To 12, Amy Yang. Got a couple of players at five under par and a couple of dozen under par at the moment, just down the road in Clifton, New Jersey. This is Aditya Shook. All right, so Aditya saves her par. And a nice season for Aditi. She remains tied for third. Full scoring conditions out there today, but nobody's really taking it super deep, at least not yet. There's still some time. Jennifer Chang, USC alum from North Carolina. She has her third birdie of the day. 17s. Good test. That's the hardest hole on the golf course today. Oh, uh, yeah. She's, look at her celebrating. Over to the 14th in Sanghyun Park, former number one in the world who won a major championship not too far away here in New Jersey. Uh, Is that the opposite of walking it in? It's kind of walking it back almost. I think she'd like to walk back what she did a few years ago when she got to number one in the world. It's been a struggle the last three years for Sung Yun. Let's check back in with Christy Kerr. This is at the 13th, chance to pick up a couple. This was a moment ago. Okay. That's gotta be really special for Christy to play yeah. an LPGA tournament here at Liberty National, a course that she knows so well. To the 14th and uh, the elegant swing and putting stroke of Amy Yang. It hasn't been her best couple of years of late. In the last, let's say, three years, but what a performer Amy Yang was, a consistent competitor. Really miss it too much more left there on 12. This is Nasa Hataoka, third at 13. Players that are playing in the morning are definitely having either. The wind usually picks up around 11 and 12, and I feel like the juniors that are playing in the morning, um, the scores are going to be way lower than, or I guess higher, than you'll see in the afternoon. Oh, and nice. Sarah M. dialed in. We saw her clang it off the flagstick at 14 earlier from the Atlanta area. Dad is here as well, cheering her on. Is her at the 13th and K? We have a. Is this a fourth shot? It is. She drove it poorly into a fairway bunker, was not able to hit it any further out than like 80 yards, had a full wood into this point. So trying to get up and down now for par. Who has a good line to it? Oh, oh my! Unbelievable. Right on cue. What were you saying about the poise? The poise. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Easy birdie. How about the short game. <laughs> Her short game is always impressive. 
I need to borrow that short game for the U.S. Open coming up. Yeah, there is that. <laughs> she might need that too at the U.S. Open. By the way, she was qualified for the for the U.S. Open, Women's Open at Pebble Beach, turned pro, but got the special exemption, so she'll be there. And another look. Out of position, playing smart out to the right, not being too aggressive to this whole location, just over the water. And oh, that's a birdie. Four on the card. Yeah, three under par and tied, as you see, for third place in her professional debut. All right, so Michelle, congrats already on what's been a phenomenal week, and we'll see you again on Sunday, I think, right? Yes, for sure. Thank gonna, you so much. Going to crown a champ. Yes, All right, say I'm hi so to your excited. folks in Little Kenno. Saw them earlier this week. Great to see them again. Thank you. Michelle We, our hostess this week at the Mizuho Americas Open. Rose Zhang making her pro debut here just across the Hudson River from lower Manhattan. And just moments ago... <laughs> She's got a flair for the dramatic, we know that. And Michelle Wee was watching, yes! One Cardinal, loving the other. This is Nasa Hataoka at the 15th, tough driving hole. She just a moment ago found the fairway and now is rewarded. That left bunker can get you. At the 15th, Allison Lee second. She absolutely pounded a drive. Just 114 yards to this hole. Nice to be able to come in with a 54 degree wedge and go right at the flagstick. Ah, that looks like it's going to be what's the fifth, only the fifth birdie so far today. What a difference it makes taking on that left bunker. Back to the par 5, 13th and Ashleen Kaur. Nice. All right. Again, the modified Stableford scoring system. You get three points <laughs> for a birdie, a couple of points for a par, and a point for a bogey. At the 16th, Rose Zhang second. 122 yards, slightly downwind. Should be just an ideal wedge. Good full one. Now the third shot for Georgia Hall at the 18th. Uh-huh. And that'll be the end of her day. Anything under par today, my goodness. There's only 15 players right now. Excuse me. 15 players at two under or better. 26 players under par and some of those are the afternoon wave that are only just barely yeah. starting their round and it's another long one for yana wilson she's up to 34 points that's like stealing one right there at the 15th thing that's going to give you some positivity heading out to play tomorrow yeah one under on the back might give her a little bit of encouragement that's a three-point birdie for ashleen Kaur. Modified Stableford scoring system. Yes, celebrate. Finished up now. How about the run for Ayaka Budaway, the last two years in Vegas? Again, losing in the finals both years. We, when we saw her out on the golf course yesterday, what a shot there on 11. Said took Monday off, took the red eye, took Monday off to recover. Said she still really didn't feel that great until Wednesday. Wonderful play that we've seen from her. It has been a chaotic week, as Kay Cockrell said earlier, for Rose Zhang. This for a closing birdie. Did we say she has a flair for the dramatic? She pitched in when Michelle Wee was watching her on the, the 13th for birdie and closes with a birdie.